it is time for Mayor Monday. This morning, we head to Washington County to introduce you to the city of Tigard's first female mayor. In January, Heidi Lou made history as she was sworn in as mayor. And this comes as Tigard recognizes its most diverse city council ever. Joining us live to tell us what her big plans are for her term, Tigard Mayor Heidi Lou. Good morning and congratulations. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me here today. Well, we talked about uh, City Council and your goals in Tigard for the next couple of years. Uh, community safety and climate action. Tell us, tell us about that. Uh, what are you looking forward to over the next couple of years? Yeah, this uh, past January, the council and I really set our, our goals for the next two years. And they're lofty goals, but I believe they're they're we can accomplish them when we work together. We're looking to reduce houselessness in our community, address climate change, modernize and improve our city services, and enhance community safety and access. One note on community safety, this is something that I know we've been monitoring for some time, the proposed transfer of Hall Boulevard uh, from ODOT's jurisdiction to the city of Tigard. Uh, how, how does this change stand right now and, and what do you hope to, to gain here? Yeah, no, we have a, a bill in the state legislature, House Bill 2756, which looks to transfer the jurisdiction from ODOT to the city of Tigard. And we're really working with our state and federal representatives to look for the $50 million it's going to take, not only to get the, the street up to a state of good repair, but to really focus on that, that safety for our community, to be able to have a safe street to get around in, and not just prioritizing cars, but the many different ways that people use Hall Boulevard. Why is it so important for uh, you to have the jurisdiction over Hall Boulevard as opposed to ODOT having it the way it was before? Yeah, so right now it's one of the main roads in our city, but it's not ours. And it's one of the number one complaints that we get about the, the status and the the safety of the road. There's a lot of potholes everywhere and it's called um, an orphaned highway because it used to be a, a state highway that's no longer really functioning in that way. So the city is really excited to take it over um, and to maintain it and make sure that it works for our community because right now it just isn't working for us. Mm -hmm. It isn't serving our community. Well, if anyone uh, hasn't been to downtown Tigard in a minute, uh, they might not have had a chance to really check out the Universal Plaza. I know you've got the, the grand opening of Universal Plaza. Tell us about that. Yeah, it was an incredible experience. So many of our community members came out to celebrate the opening of this plaza. And it has those really awesome porch swings um, that you can see right there. And we're really proud of our two food carts. Um, they're a launch part. So so we brought in two um, businesses to come and really flourish in those food carts, Harvest Moon Experience and West Coast Torta Company, for two years to launch their businesses. And so not only can you come and, and hang out, um, but you can eat and really use it as a community space. Yeah, it looks good from mm -hmm. the pictures that we're seeing right now. Uh, when we introduced you, we talked about uh, the importance of, of your election as, as mayor of Tigard and the importance of diversity and uh, city leadership in Tigard. What, what does that mean to you and, and, and why is that significant? I think it's really significant because when I looked around, even just four or five years ago, the city council didn't necessarily reflect my views or the views of many of the people living in Tigard. While I'm honored that I'm the first female, it's really important to have so many different views and different experiences represented at the table to talk about what the impact of our decisions that they have on our community and how it's going to impact and affect them. So it's it's really a, a cool experience to be around the table with so many different backgrounds and opinions. And I think it really just serves Tigard incredibly well um, to have those conversations at the table. It's an area of Washington County that just continues to grow. So we're excited to see what the future looks like. Tigard Mayor Heidi Lube, thanks so much for joining us. Great to talk with you this morning. Thank you so much. Have a great day, everyone. You, you too. too. And you can stay up to date on what's happening in Tigard and communities all across the area. Check out our Mayor Monday segments on coin.com. Just click on the AM Extra tab.